Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just today I was trying to draw this, this shape. And maybe I do things a little bit differently, but this is the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to use the Smart Fill tool to fill in. Well, that shape didn't look very good. So these circles are five by five, and I duplicated these four circles into the corner. And when you, just a little side note, when you move a circle around and you have your snap to, it'll snap right to that center of that circle. Well, let's change this circle to eight inches. And you notice it went eight by eight because I've got the lock locked up here, the ratio lock. But now I've got to, I've got to change all four circles. Well, this was my clone. You just kind of remember which one your clone because it won't work if you change this one to eight because that's not your clone. Your original clone is here. So to change it, eight, enter. Now you got a different shape. And that's how good it is because I go, I don't, I was really going for this. So then I ended up having to change it 10 by 10. So just another little example. These four by four inch boxes were duplicated over and then duplicated one down and then I cloned it over. And I'll explain that in just a second. So if we want to make that box three inches, it only changes one. But if I take my clone and hit three inches, it changes them all. Now to clone something, so we'll clone this box. Go up to edit, clone. It doesn't have a hotkey. Duplicate is control D. Clone does it, but it made a duplicate. Now we can move this over and I don't care how many, now you can go control D as many times as you want. As long as you go back to your clone and make it three inches, then it, it changes them all. It's a fantastic, you know, uh, tool if you're doing a lot of drawing and, and you want to change something. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.